Coming to you live from Space Station Audio TV, this is I'm an Alien. Beam you up here. You know the score by now. We beam them down. They've got to stay there for as long as they can. And that won't be easy for the next contestant, as it's time to play the Garstang de Gore game. Quite literally, the worst freak show owner in the galaxy. And playing it is the Illwell Martian, who some of our older viewers might recognise because he had his own show long, long ago on a TV station far, far away. It was a practical joke show in which he'd tell people their home planets had been destroyed by the Welk, just to see their reaction. It was awful and was cancelled after only four million episodes. And now the Illwell Martian is back, so we can hate him all over again. The Garstan de Gore game. Location, a British fairground near Clacton. Exact time, date, a dark Monday evening. Contestant, the Illwell Martian, has been morphed into human form and is in the game. Yeah! Roll up, roll up. Enter, if you dare, Garstang de Gore's Cabinet of the Strange. Freaks and medical mutations from all around the world. Ah, hello, young boy. You seem anxious to enter my tent of nightmares. Uh, no, actually. I'm looking for the loot. There isn't one at this fair anymore. Some hard lads nicked it. The owner was furious. I'll bet. Yeah, he was in it at the time. Can I go behind your tent? It's not solid. Just a widow. Certainly not. I mean, all right then. But you must pass through my cabinet of the strange. And to do so, you must first cross my withered palm with silver. Eh? Ten bob, fifty pence. Cough up, wee wee boy. All right. There you go. Through here, is it? Blimey, it's dark. Pong's a bit too. Ah, good. <laughs> you recognise the smell of fear. Nah, you've just farted. Shut up. I have not. Oh, well, that was ages ago anyway. Nah. <laughs> I see you have noticed the pride of my collection of astounding curiosities. What the heck is it? It looks like a dead seagull sellotaped to a Barbie doll. If only it was so easily explained, boy. This is an angel. It has a tiny human female face and body. But behold, on its back, large white wings. Not quite white. Are they tire marks? Uh, well, uh, this was a tragic tale. The angel appeared on Earth to give us a message, but before she could speak, a number ten bus came hurtling round the corner, some say driven by the devil himself. It is a Barbie doll taped to a seagull, isn't it? All right, yeah. Bum biscuits. What do you want for 50 pence? Look, I really need to go. I have here a curio from the animal kingdom that will turn your perception literally upside down. Dare you look at the topsy-turvy goldfish. Ugh, you're sick. <laughs> yes. Ever see fishes doing the backstroke before? They defy nature and swim upside down. <laughs> the dead, you idiot. What? The goldfish. The dead. That's why they're on the backs. But I won these off the bloke on the Uplus stall. Cost me 20 quid. I'm not a very good shot, apparently. He swore they was the real thing. Real thing? My armpit. They're not even goldfish. The pilchard sprayed orange. Tell you what, I'll give you 20 pence for the ball. Yeah, all right. What do you want it for? I do need a number two after all. See ya. Why do I even bother? The Illwell Martian has done it, like we care. I'm an alien beam you off here is sponsored by Nano Nappies, the pants that teleport your ones and twos out of your body for you. Let Nanobots take care of your bot.